Welcome to Bee Monster Laboratory where we review and explore STEM toys and STEM kits, anything to do with circuits and amateur robotics. Today we're going to take a look at AI and Mubot or Mubot. Uh, bought this on Amazon. It's by Mold King, which I've never heard of. M O U L D K I N G. This robot looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a Wally robot. It's got the snap brick, Lego style brick uh, build with a smart block in the middle which controls all its motions and movements. And you can download the app and operate that on your phone, which gives you all these features over here. Let's check it out. So I purchased this on Amazon. It is by Mold King, I believe is how you say that. AI Mubot or Mubot. Um, pretty cool. This is ages eight and up. So this is the box. This is the empty box. I've taken everything out. Uh, we have five bags of snap blocks. We've got bag number one, bag number two, bag number three, four, and five. It's over 351 pieces is what it says in the booklet. Uh, it came with a controller, which on the bottom looks like it uh, could snap to something, possibly. And something could go into the sides. I don't know yet. I have not looked at this. And there's a power switch right there in the middle. There is a charging cable that it came with and an extra screwdriver. So I think that's my third uh, really small Phillips head screwdriver. So that's always nice to have. Uh, over here in this bag, you had the main uh, block here. I assume that the microcontroller is in here. It's the main block, which everything is built around. Um, it's a little bit heavy for what it is, but we will get to it. I haven't looked at anything yet, so I just, just opened it. Here's some stickers that go on there. Those were included. Some stickers that go on the robot. A seal bird, thank you for your order, uh, advertisement. Um, this was the bag that the controller was in. And a booklet, which is pretty thick. It is actually 47 pages or something like that. So I will get to building all this stuff. 47 pages, including the list of parts that should be in your box whenever you get your order. Here's what your robot will look like in the end. Pretty neat. So, you know, I look forward to seeing uh, how all this goes. I'll let you guys know along the way. I showed a picture of all five of the bags, so that's good. So we'll get to it. Here's an operating instructions uh, book, a well, flyer, and it's got multiple languages, looks like. Two languages at least, three, four, I don't know. But, all right, well, we'll get to putting this thing together and update you along the way. So this is what I got from uh, steps one through 14. So... I will say that if you're looking for yellow pieces, you're definitely not going to find them, at least in this package, because they're orange. Um, no major issues yet. These do snap on much harder than other um, toys similar to that. So I guess that's a good thing since you're building a robot. One thing I did notice is that there's the switch. And you can see the blue light blinking probably. So found that. But I am plugging along. Pretty simple to just snap these guys together. Well, I've completed the build. I've uh, snapped together every piece, all 351 plus pieces, I suppose. And uh, using the book, um, basically it looks pretty neat. Uh, you can see the eyes. The eyes, the eyes do spin, which is pretty cool. And the head turns. Um, and then you can play with the eyebrows as well. Um, the f one thing I've noticed is that the arms, this one's a little more stiff than this one. This one will fall at some point, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. So in this, in this hand, he holds a heart and puts a heart together. And this one, it looks like he's got a gift of some sort. So, uh, I put the tread together as well. Uh, that looks pretty neat for both, both, uh, both wheels. Uh, you can check out the back. I don't know what these things are supposed to be, but uh, they're there. So, and that's what the book told me to do. He also has, you can twist 
his arm here at this joint. Although I probably won't do much with that just because it doesn't seem all that stable. So I won't, I won't mess around with that too much. So the first thing I did after I, I built it was I went to the box and I cracked open the operating instructions, which is in Chinese, I think, and English. So I opened it up and it tells you in here, um, that, uh, what you're supposed to do with the controller. So I got the controller. I noticed on the back it does take AAA batteries, which are not included. So I did bring my trusty Rayovac AAA batteries. The charging port, port on the robot is actually on his side right here. So you charge that up. And then the on-off switch is on the other side. It is right there. And when you turn that on, that light will light up blue, that little hole. So as we read down here, it, it looks like you, they recommend you connect this to a computer for charging because uh, the voltage should not uh, exceed five volts and the current should not exceed one amp. Well, if I connect this to my cell phone charger, it's probably gonna exceed that. So I will do what the book says uh, since the book knows better than I do. And we'll go ahead and charge it up. It says it takes about 60 minutes to charge. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll play around with them. There's also an app that I'll download on my cell phone and we'll, uh, we'll check it out, see, uh, see how we like it. All right, so here's my demo for uh, carpet. Um, as you can see, I've got the two buttons on the left. The top should be forward, but it's not, it's backward. And then the bottom is forward. I don't quite understand that, but you'll see right here as I push that button, the robot goes forward. I push that button, goes backwards. The right button makes them turn right, and the left button makes them go left. There's a button up here. It's a demo button, and I'll press that. And he kind of does his own thing. And then this button up here, I have no idea what it does. It does nothing as far as I can tell. But I do like the way he rolls around on the carpet as opposed to a hardwood floor, or a flat surface. Um, he does move very nicely on carpet. Like I said, it's kind of quirky with that. Intuitively, up is forward, down is backwards. But if you have a pet, you know, cats love chasing him, I guess. We'll take a look at how he does on the hardwood floor here. Here he is on hardwood floor. He kind of he kind of skids around a little bit, as you can see, and it's it's wild. And if you can see, his hands have kind of fallen down to the left hand is touching the tread. Uh, that's one of the issues I have with the robot itself is that the arms kind of fall. They fall, you know, down whenever you're rolling them around. So I'd probably take the the heart out of the left hand and the, the mineral or the present or whatever out of the other hand just so they stay up a little bit better. But uh, I'll fix that here. All right, there we go. I've taken the items out of his hands and turned his head a little bit. And like I said, the controls are a little bit backwards, but they're pretty fun to play with. Yeah, and you can see that his arms have uh, slid back down to touching the tread again. Well, I've got the robot built and uh, it's kind of disappointing because the, the app doesn't work. You can see here on the box, the front of the box uh, says uh, gravity sensor. This is all the stuff you can do, I assume, in the app or with the robot in general. Uh, gravity sensor path model, um, voice control, app control, 2.4G control, that's the controller that it came with, stem programming, and uh, rechargeable batteries, which is in the, the robot itself. But uh, I can't get the app to work on my phone. So when it was time to download the app, I attempted to download it on my cell phone, which I'm currently videoing with, so I, I don't have it in front of the camera. It is a Samsung Galaxy 
S8 Plus. So it's kind of old, but it's it's not too old. And it, I could download apps on it all the time, and I don't normally have a problem. So I went to my Samsung tablet here, and it actually doubles as a phone as well. I don't have a phone number currently attached to it, but it is capable of downloading apps. So this is the message that I get on my Samsung uh, Galaxy S8 Plus on my Samsung tablet. And I also used a couple of older cell phones that I have that I, that I actually um, put apps on too, and they can't handle it as well. So I get the same message on everything. This app is incompatible with your device. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's what it says here. It gives me that message on every single device that I have, and they're all Android. I don't know about iPhone. Um, maybe it works on iPhone, maybe not. I don't know. So if you go down here and look at the picture of the app, it looks like everything is in Chinese. I don't know if they have an English version or an Android version. That I'm not sure of. I go down here and look at the details of the app. It says updated July 17, 2019. I go over here and look at it says installs zero plus. So it, either nobody has installed this or very few. Um, I don't know. So this is the message that I get um, on every device that I have. Uh, also, I went to the app store just on my phone and I typed in Mold King or however you pronounce that. Nothing came up. I typed in AI Mubot. Nothing came up. And the only way that you can get to the screen that I just showed you was by scanning this right here. You scan that and it takes you to their website where I guess you're supposed to be able to download the app. But I get the error code saying my, my phones are not compatible. So this is the international version edition. This looks like it might be the Chinese edition. Uh, I don't know. So that's that. The app was a failure. Maybe if somebody else has uh, had success putting the app on their phone, you share share your uh, story with us in the, uh, the comments because I surely can't get it done. I will say about the control, which I said earlier, it is a sturdy. It is. Uh, it's a nice controller, but it's backwards. Uh, the front and reverse, the forward and reverse are backwards. I don't know what the deal is with that, and his arms drop when I roll him around, so I don't know how to prevent that either, other than gluing them up or something. I don't know. Um, so that's basically what I would say about this. The robot itself seems to drive around very well. It's got plenty of power. Uh, I, I do enjoy driving it around with the controller, but the issues that I come across were just what I said with the controller and the the arm, the loose arms. Um, otherwise, it's kind of fun to drive the thing around uh, with the tread on the on the tires, so you can go over carpet easily. It is fun, but the um, control through your cell phone uh, it was a failure for me. I couldn't get it done. So hopefully, somebody can share their success story. That's my review of this. I'm actually not keeping it. I don't think because it's not usable. I mean, I bought it based on on all these things right here, and I, I can't even use uh, but one, and that's the 2.4G controller. So I will either, I'll probably give it to somebody. Um, maybe they'll want it, I don't know. But you look here, and here's a whole other family of, uh, the whole family of robots. They all look really cool. Um, they look like they're all similar to MuBot or whatever this guy is. Um, they probably all have the same power source and smart brick in the in the middle you know it had the potential to be a really neat thing and i'm sure it is if you can get the app installed on your phone however i couldn't so that's it for this well, i'd like to thank you for watching this video so if you like this uh click like give the thumbs up and uh make sure to follow maybe even share it with a friend uh appreciate it see you next friday